Right guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So we just got a nice teaser and some quite decent information about the training mode in the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero and it looks pretty damn awesome guys what i like about this particular uh, showcase is that the training mode is going to be very fluid which is really cool uh, in other games like the training mode there's like lots of menus we saw the video where we're gonna check it a bit later on so don't worry we have it opened here on on this one but first let's just talk about the article on the playstation blog which they've actually published which is really cool called the dragon ball spark zero battle training mode the gameplay revealed so What's this all about? Let's have a look here. So now in 2024, Dragon Ball Wands has gathered all this stuff. This is just random crap. You already know. Okay, yeah, whatever. Uh, okay, so uh, Sparking Zero will have a battle system that continues the 1v1 and the uh, training mode. So this is it because the first part is just basically a summary, right? Uh, training mode. So for players new to the franchise or veterans who need refresher, there is a robust, look at this, this is really cool because you're actually training inside the arena already. You have beginner, I guess beginner, intermediate and advanced and maybe Z level. So there's a robust training mode between Classic Master and Apprentice Piccolo and Gohan, with Goten also making a guest appearance. While the training mode covers the basic commands in the game, it also dwells into intermediate and advanced techniques for players to explore the alert players if they have successfully executed the actions covered in the instructions that are given. So the basics battle training mode allows players to choose the level at which they want to start. Players can start at the beginner level, learning how to fly using key blast and counters. Uh, this is really cool. Also switching, you can also learn to use special commands such as changing characters and transformation. Meet uh, in the middle with intermediate to advanced techniques. Look at this one. Vanish, assault, follow up. It's really cool. Look at that. That's super really awesome. So you have the uh, square X, you have the vanish attack, then vanish again. Sorry, uh, rush, and then assault. Really cool. Dragon smash. Uh, really nice. Uh, player scan. Where is it actually? Players can move 360 degrees but also change and utilize their key to use Dragon Dash to move rapidly around the battlefield. Players can use Dragon Dash to execute follow-up attacks after knocking back their opponents. Additionally, new gameplay reveals how players might be able to, van to access Vanish Assaults to quickly gain the upper hand against unsuspected opponents, which is really cool. This mode allows also reveals how players can follow up these attacks with additional movements uh, and attacks to string into the combos, which is really, really cool. I mean, look at this one. This is so cool. Vanish Assault follow-up. It's just, it's just awesome man it's just i love it it just it's crazy it's cool counter and dodge your, uh, your opponent so hold and wait to counter so if we guess you hold you i say have to hold to counter so again it's all about you know making sure you you do it at the right time right getting caught in your opponent's attack battle training mode also goes in depth to how to counter rush attacks by using perception and super perception uh that's really cool press press what's this one not right here so basically you press the r1 uh oh so you press at the moment of the follow-up attack to do a counter rush z counter that's that's pretty cool players can also dodge an opponent follow-up attack by utilizing the z counters change up the flow of battle by using these offensive moves to your advantage and of course we have the uh guess what's this one here we have the uh, maximization, so the actual special techniques, which is really cool. So finally, true to Sparking Legacy, the mode also covers how players might charge their key and go into the Sparky mode, which unlocks a powerful ability to each character, requires at least one skill count to enter this mode. Once the... Um once you've completed your training, the mode helps players combine what they have learned and teach how to string together attacks, vanishing assaults, and the sparky mode to unleash a devastating combo into their opponent. I mean, this is just so cool. So let's just check this out because it looks complicated, but it's actually not complicated, right? So we have here basically um, press uh, square, square, uh, X, R2, circles. It's pretty, pretty basic. Like, it's not really super complicated. And you can see here, 
it just is not it's just not rocket science like this is why like the combos in this game are not like street fighter where you have to like do so many combination of strings like they are not going to be like your crazy crazy stuff right i'm sure there's going to be like additional a bit more advanced combos and stuff like that but to be honest like majority of people will not use the most craziest combos because you can get countered so the more you string your combo the easier it is for your opponent to counter you as well so you know combos are not actually the best thing to do uh, in this long sequence because if you get countered you can be in a pretty bad position right uh, but yeah let's just check also this video here in a bit more detail because we have the first one is so let's have a look here so this one is okay let's have a look at that Right, so yeah, so press to jump and then fly and descend. So once you press to jump L1, you can then keep hold of like uh, L1 to fly or L2 to descend. So it's really cool because you can then jump and fly as you are, you know, to your own leisure, basically. basically. Really cool. And now this one, blast, so R2 and triangle. There's going to be a blast attack. As you can see here, Go Gohan does this special blast attack. Boom. That's nice. Uh, the switch, of course, pretty straightforward. Vanishing Assault follow-up, right? Which is also, again, like, it's quite basic. It's not, like, the most complicated thing. That's really cool. Charge, obviously, charge. I mean, come on. And, yeah, the Kamehameha ultimate technique. Spark technique, it's really cool. Really nice. So yeah, guys, that was for the the trailer. I mean, the uh, gameplay, you know, tutorial as we can call it. Now, if you scroll up here, actually, you can see that there is a variety of training. So we have here, for example, the basic training. Uh, we have the basic maneuvers, close range maneuvers using key blasts, counters, use super attacks, and special maneuvers. And yeah, I guess this is the beginner, so you're gonna continue, or or you're gonna, there's gonna be maybe more in the beginner because we have here the L L2 R2, so I guess it's gonna be more stuff. Or toggle input support, I'm not sure about this one, uh, but again, this one is to go to intermediate and to advanced. Uh, so yeah, guys, it's uh, pretty cool. I like it to be honest. I think this is this is really looking really really nice, man. Looking so clean. It just I just love it. It just looks so damn clean. It just looks amazing. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today's video, guys, on the training mode for Sparking Zero. Um, I'm really excited that and the fact that you know PlayStation is now putting these kind of stuff here. And it's really cool. I'm really excited about this, guys. And I'm hoping that they're going to continue. Because we are literally getting, like, information for Sparking Zero, like, every two or three days, which is really awesome. And also, Gamescom is just around the corner. So, in the Gamescom event, I think there's going to be more stuff. I'm pretty sure they're going to have the demo playable again at the boot at the Gamescom in Germany. Um, and who knows? Maybe, just maybe, they're going to release a public demo. I mean, they, we, just, we just need, guys, a freaking public demo like, if, it, if it's like just four characters man but just give us something basic i'm pretty sure this will actually help the game even sell even more because maybe there's like people on the fence right now who are like oh, is this game going to be better or same as the book i think i should three i'm not sure you know it's quite expensive so but if you have a demo especially for this kind of game and to try it out and play it i'm pretty sure like you get you get actually gain you gain more from this than you would lose because i mean just check this gameplay man it looks freaking awesome man i just cannot get enough of this like every time i watch the gameplay i just love it i just love how it looks i just love how it plays i just love the movements the smoothness it just sings man it just sings but anyway, guys, that's it for today's video if you're obviously new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel leave a like and remember the actual counters so make sure to learn this because this is going to be very very important like if you don't play with the counters and the evasions you're going to end up being destroyed so this is going to be very crucial for you guys very very crucial you have to make sure that you know how to follow up how to play and you know don't just go on the attack like a crazy person you have to sometimes defend you have to sometimes evade you have to sometimes counter is not just about mashing the buttons of course you have to be really strategic in your fight because effectively a fighting game is just a fast-paced rock paper scissor and you know the person who is faster gains the upper hand uh, but guys that's it for today's video as always see you later in the next one